Hello everybody and welcome back to Provis Gaming and more CK2 Saxon Savagery playing as Filkir with Gills of Germania. Alright, it is the start of a new recording session for me, which means I can finally address some of the ideas that I asked for after I did form Germania. And there were some pretty cool ideas. Uh, I'm not going to address every single one of them, obviously, but there are a few that stuck out to me. So, for example, trying to make the Byzantine Empire into a tributary could be kind of fun. I mean, this guy has as many troops as I do. He'd be quite a challenge, but, you know, we're a little ways off of that. Um, there were some suggestions to get relatives on a bunch of different uh, thrones and different kingdoms. It's a lot of work. I'm not sure that's something I'm willing to do. It'll take a long time. Ultimately, I do need to be careful because, as one of the commenters pointed out... Once you've accomplished all your goals, if you just keep playing the series for the sake of it, it kind of will jump the shark and it will lose its fun. You kind of cheapen the entire series, and I agree with that. That said, I did say before, we're going to wait until the Black Death hits, and also on top of that, we have not yet used a Crusade, or a Great Holy War. I do want to do that, at the very least. So we'll wait until both of those are able to occur before I call the series guaranteed. Now, as far as what to do in the meantime, though... It seems like, overwhelmingly, most people are suggesting we push down into Italy and form a very different kind of Holy Roman Empire. Some are suggesting that we go and um, sack the, uh, the papacy, maybe try to convert the Pope, which I don't think you can do, but I do think you can capture and sacrifice the Pope. Or actually, I'm not even sure. Is that true? I've never seen that actually happen. What happens when the Pope gets captured? Uh, I mean, Christendom doesn't really have a head anymore. Do they just lose a lot of moral authority, or do they say, all right, emergency, new pope, let's get a new election going? I'm not sure. One way or another, it would be kind of fun to do that. But as you guys know, I am very big into theme, right? And we are the savages from Saxony. That's sort of the entire point. One commenter suggested, go down toward Italy, get to Rome, and reenact the sacking of Rome. 2.0. Now that is an idea that resonates with me. That's pretty cool. We are the savage Norsemen from Germany, and we shall march down and we shall sack Rome again like our ancestors. I like that. I like that a lot. So over time, I do think we want to push down to Italy. Uh, we might push a little bit more against France. We'll, of course, conquer a little bit more as we go. I do kind of want to keep bullying Denmark. I do want to take over Norway and Denmark. I think that'd be kind of fun, personally. Call me crazy. Uh, and if we ever need to, I could set up some relatives in other places just so they don't become a threat to my inheritance. But most of all, yeah, let's push down toward Italy. We're going to work, work toward uh, the papacy, to Rome. Now, there are a couple different ways we could do that. We could do what we did to Germany and East Francia. We could do what we did to Bavaria. And just eat them bit by little bit, province by province, holy war after holy war. Yeah, could do that. Or, we could take everything that is not a part of Italy itself. So the rest of Bavaria, for example... And then declare a great holy war once the Crusades come available and take over all of Italy. In one shot. That could be a really cool first target for a crusade. What do you guys think of that? I don't know. In the meantime, I'm going to do what I was planning on doing. We're going to conquer Silesia because, hey, easy holy war. Let's just fill in the borders a little bit more. I'll probably get a few tributaries against Averia, France. Maybe some people up here like Estonia and stuff. I don't know yet, but a few different things we could do there. But Italy ultimately will be the target and there were a lot of really good ideas. I do appreciate what some of you guys were sending. In fact, one of the really good ideas... Actually, let's check something. Okay, you've got 3,000 troops. A bunch of events spawned, huh? All right. Um, one of the really interesting ideas, and I may or may not end up doing this. We'll see. Was um, to load up the save file and play as a different nation and try to take down Germania. Play as, you know, France or the Byzantines or somebody. Just undo everything I've done. That's actually a really cool idea. I like that. If I were ending the series now, I would totally do that now. But for now, we're going to be playing as Germanian trying to get larger and stronger. It may very well be that by the time that the Black Death and the Crusades and such happen, we'll become so powerful that even the Byzantines can't beat them. I don't know yet. But that is a really cool idea. I might still do that. I'm not sure yet. But it was awesome. Let's go ahead and raise up some troops. I think Silesia actually could pose a little bit of a problem. Just because these are the Slavs. They love to uh, get a lot of event spawn troops, and that could still be a problem for me. So we'll call forth Sweden. There's another 2,000. Okay, see, he's already got like 6,000 freaking troops. Like, that's just... No. No, 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 no. Uh, we do need to raise up a bunch of my own vassals' levies. Now, if I do that... A little worried about them being a problem. Hang on. Let's try to stop these raiders. I want them to die. Oh, wait, wait, wait! Looter is no longer the 
nominee. Okay, good. So my son has been nominated to be the heir to the Germanic Empire, as well as the Kingdom of Saxony and Frisia. Hmm, good. All right, I'm a fan of that. That'll be very excellent for me. Thank you. Uh, what's this? Bunch of people getting called into the German Holy Wars. Bunch of chiefs. There are a few Slavs who want to get involved in all of this. A few. Let us raise up my vassals. Oops. Well, that guy's gonna die. Get you out of here, get you out of here, get you out of here. There is a way to just, like, go through each county and individually raise up the vassals, but... Meh. It's a lot of work. Who wants to do that, really, right? Right. Wow, we get 700 troops down here from this guy. He's worth a lot. You do not need, do not need, and before I forget, we don't want these guys up in Norway either. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, I lost those ten men. Whatever, it happens. Uh, we should probably get these guys together and just go kill these raiders. They're going to be annoying. Whoop, there goes another 62 men. And we've improved somebody's opinion of me a little bit more. All right, um, so who else is voting for... Well, actually, we have five votes now. We seem to be more or less safe. Ah, we can finally do this. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go ahead and do regulated inheritance. I suspect that... Wait, no, all my council's opponent? What? Why are you all opposing this? You shouldn't want the titles to leave Germania. You are all traitors. All right, we can't do any law changes right now. But eventually, we'll need to do that. Boo. All right, anyway. Yeah, okay. Um... Who else do I need to improve with, then? My council's more or less in good shape. I mean... There are other people I could improve with. For example... Who's this? What are you doing here? That's my chancellor. Oh, we improved relations with somebody I don't care about. Wow. Oh. We should just start fabricating claims. You know what? Go here to Shelland or Shalland, or whatever. Maybe we'll get lucky. We'll form a claim on the entire kingdom of Denmark or something like that. That would be fun. That would indeed be very fun, I think. And Viola has finished her education. She is a fortune builder. This pleases me. Get all the men together. Get all the men together. Our threat is almost gone, by the way. Threat is not that hard to deal with. It really is not. The game just naturally takes long enough that I find that threat tends to go down. A crusade would be a problem. Taking a ton of territory in a crusade will be enough to get me a ton of threat, but... Beyond that, it's just not a big deal. It's really just not. Um, I obviously don't seem to care. I mean, I can take on the entire Catholic world. If the Byzantines were Catholic, that would be a different story. But I can take on the entire Catholic world and win. So who gives a dang crap? So, I don't know. Defensive pacts are not a concern. Let's get all of our troops together. We have an amateur plotter for a daughter. That's a little bit disappointing, but okay. It looks to me like the Silesians are fighting Great Moravia and winning because they have a ton of event spawn troops. Let's make sure that my generals are in good shape. Eggard, light foot leader, as opposed to who? Rudigar? You're an aggressive leader. Hmm, that means that the flank is very likely to fall, but I think you'll be okay. Eggard, my cousin. Now, he has good martial, but not as good as the other Eggard, so we're going to switch you out. We'll put my bastard half-cousin in charge. The flat ter uh, foot, light foot leader. There we go. Light foot leader might be helpful. Instant sack white. What kind of trade uh, territory is this? Hills? Do I want to fight him in the hills? Not if the hills of Great Moravia. No. Let's go ahead and split the men up. And we will send a bunch to conquer Silesia proper. Dangerous factions. Increase council power again? Oh, good grief, guys. Oh, good grief. That worked out so well for you guys last time, didn't it? We have money we should spend, by the way. You know what? Can we get more castle shipyards? Oh, we totally can. Let's get some of those. That is one area that I have been lacking in, is my naval strength. Not that you fight with your navies in this game. They're just transports, but... All the same, it would be good to have. In Braunschweig, I could build a better Huskarl training ground, which is tempting. Alternatively, you know what I've never done? I should upgrade my hospital. Let's go ahead and start working on this. I've never done it before. Let's start increasing our disease resistance in Braunschweig, just in preparation for the Black Death someday. We got the money. It's extremely expensive and time-consuming. We'll just do it. In Lundberg, 
let's get rid of this menu. Um, can't afford the Huskarl Training Grounds here, and that's something I do want. So we'll just we'll just wait for a little bit. Let's siege down the tribes of Silesia. See what we can do. There's a bunch of men here, some armies and stuff. Eh, we can kill them all later. Like now, go kill them. Their main army is distracted, which is what really matters. What you got here? One more temple? Okay. I think we can handle that. Um, why don't you go to Opol? This is a prosperous county. But it doesn't have a direct border. So if I move my army here, I wouldn't be able to reinforce very quickly. So let's just go here. 7,000 troops is still very, very strong. I need to be careful about this. So we'll just, um, we'll just siege down some stuff, keep the armies together. Play it safe, even if I am Germany. We just need to be careful. Can I afford any interesting new tech? Not really. Still a ways off on most of that. Actually, one more thing that would be really smart to invest in would be to go to, for example, my cities and build a university. Now, that is expensive as heck, but you're going to get a lot more consistent technology points doing that. We could also build a monastic school, which actually isn't a bad idea either. You only get 0.04 points instead of... Actually, that's not bad. And that's really cheap in comparison. We do not have church infrastructure level 3. That's the problem, but... That's not a bad idea. Huh. Maybe we should, uh, maybe we should worry about getting church infrastructure at some point and start in spreading my, uh, cultural tech. It's not a bad idea. It's not a bad idea at all. <sighs> hmm. Well, we'll think about it. In the meantime, just keep worrying about this war. Doop, 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 doop. How are my factions looking? There's quite a few of them. This guy's way too strong. The High Chief of Franconia is my advisor. He's got a couple thousand men. He wants to make himself the Emperor. It's not going to happen. Increased council power, however, will fire at any moment. And these are people who like me, for the most part. How incredibly disappointing. I don't understand what, what, what they're so upset about. You know what I need to do? I need to raid for a while. Cool my jets with these wars, raid, become a Viking. Make everyone like me better. Yeah, now there's an idea. That could be good. Up. Oh. What? 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 You can do that? Oh! He converted to the Germanic faith, and now the Holy War is invalidated. What? You've got to be kidding me. I had no idea you could do that once the war was already declared. How dare you? And now I can't even conquer your stuff because you're German. Oh! I feel robbed. Well. I mean, great, the Germanic freight gets stronger, but what the crud? Well, there goes the defensive pact. Unbelievable. Unfreaking believable. And someone usurped the Duchy of Koln from Bernard, my cousin, who loves me. I'm not really okay with you doing that. How did you usurp it? You only have one territory here. I don't know. Unbelievable. Well, obviously I'm going to have to make him a tributary now. Since I'm not allowed to just conquer him without fabricating a ton of claims. Gosh dang it, I don't want more people to convert to Germanic faith. I want to just conquer them all. Alright. Um, you know what? Screw it. Let's just get all my retinue together, and we'll go raiding for a bit. We should get more retinues, of course. Uh, do I want more Huskarls, or do I want some more balance? We do need more skirmish, I think. Um, yeah, we actually have a lot of light troops. Maybe we don't. Maybe we do want more just Huskarls. We could get some cavalry, I guess. Actually, I can't for some reason. Why not? Oh, it uses too much of my... Rhett's new pop. Pikemen. Ah, the the Huskarls are just too good. Get another one of those. Get them all together. Reinforce for a little bit. Increase my personal retinue. I won't even have to raise any troops to go raiding. Which would be pretty awesome. Where's a lot of money? There's a lot of money in France right now. We should go and siege them down. There's also a ton of money in England. Or Italian... Essex and London, Middlesex, Kent stuff. I don't know. 
But yeah, all right, let's make myself into the leader here. We will make this into a raiding party, and let's send the retinue off to, I don't know, let's just say Holland for now. We're gonna upset the French, but that's fine. I actually should consider making them into a tributary at some point as well. Just more people to call into some wars, could be fun. Sick house has been built in Braunschweig, excelente. Let us build, I can't build the Huskarl training ground yet. That's fine, raiding will solve this problem. What's this? Castle shipyards have been built. Thank you. So that should greatly increase the number of ships that I will be able to raise. Up to 30 in my domain now. As opposed to the 12 we had before. Great. So that's an ex that'll be up to 3,000 troops we can transport. Just from my own personal holdings alone. Now this is not a lot of troops. It's actually going to take us a while to siege this stuff down. I'm accustomed to fighting with thousands and thousands of men. The German Holy War ended inconclusively. I am aware you don't need to rub it in, game. Let's build that Husker all training ground. Unbelievable. Unfreaking believable. Weak claims can be pr pressed. The Kingdom of Great Moravia? On whose behalf? I can claim all of Great Moravia on behalf of some courtiers. I don't really see a good reason to do that. No. And I'm not going to do it on behalf of a few Catholics. No. Terribly, terrible idea. Terrible idea. Hmm. I think we just need to become a Viking. That's the best solution to all my problems here. Become a Viking. We're going to raid the Danish for a while and get some money. If I become a Viking, then maybe my, my vassals will like me better, and they'll stop trying to increase the council power, because that's never going to happen. We have somebody who's upset, let him rot, I don't care. He was a traitor. Dirty, rotten traitor. Somebody is no longer an advisor. You're one of the guys who didn't like me and who was too strong, yeah? Excellent, he's gone. Alright, new advisor. Um, not you, you hate me too much. Jasper, the High Chief of Holstein. Sure, we'll make you into an advisor. We have a surprising number of zealots, people who want to do religious warfare. That's cool. Hey, we burned down a castle. Let's burn down the city. <laughs> now, my retinue will continue to um, reinforce itself over time. So I don't need to worry about exhausting my levy from attrition. Wow, 67 ducats from that? Holy crap. These cities are becoming so freaking good. What else should I upgrade? Osnabrück. We haven't gotten a Huskarl trading ground here yet, either. That won't take long. Burn down one more temple, problem solved. I've become scarred. I am no longer wounded. Excellent, a scar is worth prestige. People shall adore my battle scars. Adore my battle scars. I couldn't care less what she'll wear or what she looks like. I'm a Viking! And I've come to take your land. Oh yes, I've come to take your land. I I grew up on Veggie Tales and stuff. I know. I just, just shush. It's fine. All right, Holland has been burned to the ground, and now that I am a Viking, that gives me an extra five. No, fifteen opinion with everyone of my faith. So that should make it a heck of a lot easier to control the council. Now a lot of people are still voting for Looter, which I don't appreciate at all. The Duke of Colne, the new Duke, is actually a bit of a threat to me. Still, I think we're okay. At least for the time being. So, do you guys like me now? Too many held duchies, blah blah blah, don't care. Chancellor Technology Liege is a genius. Viking plus 15. Vicious rumors. Somebody spread vicious rumors about me. What? How dare you? Whatever, it's fine. Look at this, my retinue, even though I'm taking attrition, is just constantly staying on top. I pretty much never have to worry. I love it. Now this one has two cities, so we know this is going to be worth a lot to me. Someone died a natural death. I'm so sorry. Okay. What's this? Oh, the warriors of Denmark are moving through my territory, wanting to intercept, are they? Well, they're not allowed to sit back and raid my land, so I know where they are, and they have a long way to go. By then, I shall raid your tribes. You're killing my Holstein men, how dare you? Hey, vassals, stop raising your levies. There's a roaming Danish coming to kill you all. 
Please get me a claim on that kingdom. I would love nothing better than to conquer them and turn them into a feudal kingdom that serves me. All right, we got your tribe down. Um, unfortunately, I don't think that we're going to be able to siege anything else down before we arrive. So let's go to Ghent and let's just raid whatever loot we can get there. Never mind! We've managed to get a claim on the Chiefdom of Shelland. Not the Kingdom, but the Chiefdom. It'll cost me a lot of money and some prestige, but I get a strong claim. Use it! Alright, that's another holy site that I'll be able to take over, which I like. Let's just get whatever money I can out of you, and then we're going to retreat. Let's go ahead and retreat now. We might actually be too late. Now that I think about it. Nope, never mind. Oh, where are you going? Whoa, 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 whoa! He chased me into my own land! I didn't even know they were allowed to do that! Well, we might be in trouble. Can we retreat, please? Uh, this might be a moment where we raise up the levy and go save them, because if they chase down my retinue, I'm gonna lose a freaking ton of money. Run, guys! Run, 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 as fast as you can. He might catch you. You're not the gingerbread man. After all. <laughs> He's definitely trying to. Um... You need to keep running, man. Where's he going? He's going to Holland. Uh-oh. This is a problem. Get some men in there. Feed in! Get them! Get them! Save them! Save them! Yay! We're gonna win this time. And we managed to capture Irsa the Fearless, a shield maiden. Ooh, a lesbian shield maiden. How often do you see women, old women, on top of that, fighting? We also managed to capture the Mayor of Ypres. Well, that's pretty cool, I guess. So my retinue just took a little bit of a pounding there, but I'm going to try to kill you now. Denmark, your army is completely worthless. You have no defenses of any kind. Now is the perfect opportunity, I think. Let's go ahead and group these guys together. Why can't I group them? Oh, one's raining. Right. Group. Stand down. Actually, my retinue survives reasonably well, considering. All right, yeah. Uh, we should absolutely use this against him now, because he has practically no men. Declare war. Claim your capital province. Done. Raise back up the army. And let's go play with the Danes. All right, I need to end this video here, but thank you all for watching. I do hope you agree with what I'm going to do, and that is to push down to Italy. I might very well just conquer the rest of Bavaria and sit back and wait till my Crusade is done and take it all in one big swoop. In the meantime, I need to make a lot of people into tributaries, take over Serbia, Bulgaria, and stuff like that. I don't know what to do about Silesia anymore. I'm just going to have to get claims against them, and I find that extremely annoying and also very expensive. Not fun. But what can you do? I don't know yet. We'll see. I hope you did enjoy. Leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.